The latest firmware update unleashes a mind-blowing 400 megapixel JPEG image. But is it worth the hype? Let's find out. Welcome back, Canon enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the newest firmware update with the Canon R5, version 1.8.1 which introduces a game-changing feature. It's called In-Body Image Stabilizer High Resolution Shot Mode. I know, a little bit of a mouthful. This new innovative mode allows the R5 to create jaw-dropping 400 megapixel files in camera without needing external software to process the image. That last part is not the case for the other camera brand that can do something similar. But what does 400 megapixels mean for photographers? And when should you use this groundbreaking feature? Let us explore some of the possibilities. With the IBIS high resolution shot mode, the R5 takes full advantage of its in-body image stabilizer to capture multiple images rapidly, shifting the sensor by mere micrometers between shots. It takes a total of nine shots and stitches them together to give you 400 megapixels. These images are then combined to produce a single ultra high resolution 400 megapixel file, offering unparalleled detail and sharpness. This feature though is designed for specific situations when you need a high resolution file with extreme detail. Ideal scenarios include art reproduction, capturing intricate architectural details, or creating large scale prints. Keep in mind that a steady tripod is an essential component to achieving the best results with this mode. The benefits of the IBIS high resolution shot mode are undeniable. You can capture unprecedented detail and clarity, making it perfect for professional applications requiring extreme precision. However, it is essential to consider the potential drawbacks before relying on this feature for every single shot. Due to the multiple images being captured and then combined, the resulting file size will be significantly larger, which may require more storage space and processing power. Additionally, this mode is not suitable for capturing fast moving subjects or even slow moving subjects for that matter. It could result in artifacts or image misalignment. So this, really, this mode is really for static subjects. If you're excited to try the IBIS high resolution shot mode with your Canon R5, here are some tips to get the most out of this incredible feature. Number one, use a sturdy tripod to ensure the camera remains stable and vibration free during the image capturing process. Number two, opt for a well-lit environment or use artificial lighting to provide a consistent illumination across all images being captured. Number three, Keep your subject and the camera as still as possible to avoid artifacts and misalignment of the final image. Number four, be patient. The processing time for creating the 400 megapixel file will be longer than standard images. Give your camera a little bit of time. It needs time to work its magic. So is the Canon R5's latest firmware update worth the excitement? I certainly think so. I'm going to be showing you a couple of sample images that I'm going to be shooting of this skull right here. I chose this subject and I recently picked it up because it has a lot of intricate detail and it's rather, um, I think the word I want to use is ornate. It has a lot of detail um, and I think I'll be able to capture some cool detail using the 400 megapixel capability of the R5 that was just released with this latest firmware. We're going to jump right into these images here. This is the first image taken at 400 megapixels with a 70 millimeter focal length at f5.6. I'm going to be using three points of reference. The first one is going to be this flower here on the cheekbone. The second point of reference is going to be another flower on the outside of the cheekbone. And then the third one is going to be the flower up at the temple. I encourage you while you're looking at these images to scrub back and forth to see some of the similarities and some of the differences. Uh, one of the big differences and takeaways that I noticed immediately is that there was a slight focus breathing uh, situation going on. This is the second image at 45 megapixels, same focal length, same f-stop. 
keep in mind that I didn't move the camera, I didn't move the lighting, I didn't move everything remained static as I took both of these images. Next I'm going to have a zoomed in feature at 200 at 200 times zoom. Here is the 400 megapixel image. Again, keep those three reference points in mind. This is the 45 megapixel image. And again, there's a slight focus breathing issue going on and I'm noticing a lot more softness in the 45 megapixel. Here are the images side by side. It's They are a little bit smaller, of course, to fit both of them on the screen. And here you can see a clear difference in the contrast from the 400 megapixel to the 45 megapixel, which I thought was, was very interesting. I have to assume that because there's so many pictures layered on top of each other that the contrast would increase, but that was a surprising, surprising result. Here are a side-by-side -side images of the 200X image. Again, I think the biggest difference is using those three reference points I mentioned earlier is that there is some softness in the 45 megapixel where there isn't on the 400. A lot, uh, it is definitely clearly visibly sharper. I encourage you to scrub through this portion of the video just so you can see the true side-by-side. -side. I'm open to any and all questions down in the comments. Don't hesitate to ask. The in-body image stabilizer high resolution shot mode opens up new possibilities for photographers seeking ultra high resolution images, perfect for specific professional applications. Just remember to consider the potential drawbacks and follow my tips to make the most out of this groundbreaking feature. If you've made it this far, give this video a like, consider sharing and subscribe to my channel for more photography content like this. Also, consider following me on my social media platforms, Instagram and TikTok. I'm active on those both of those platforms daily. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. At the moment, I have the luxury of answering every single one of your questions. If you guys like this video, I know that you'll like this video here. Until next time, adios.